Uh, I guess I'm just going to get started. About what year did did you all come to Allen County? It was uh, the latter part of December. Well, it was December 1954. 54. Mm-hmm. Well, I was elected county attorney in 19, um, well, 1966 and served until 1990. Uh, let me uh, take you back to around the square back in the 50s when you first got here. Those stores uh, was what we built on. For several for years, and then all of a sudden we don't we have no stores. Um, Killing drugs. Mm -hmm. That was a favorite gathering place. J. M. Gillum was the pharmacist, and everybody at uh, back in those days. Uh, sidewalks rolled up at about four o'clock and we all gathered in there and uh, and uh, talked about what happened during the day and it was a right interesting uh, interesting place to be because the lawyers all gathered there about four o'clock gold gold was uh, the oldest at that time, uh, Doug Keen, I was county attorney at that time. Um, Val Jr. Val House Jr. was uh, about my age. He and I were about the same age. And uh, Frank Gold was a practicing attorney here at that time, but he never did gather in there with us at four o'clock. Uh, why I can't say, um, but uh, it was an interesting uh, place. I remember one day we were all gathered in there, and uh, Doug Keen's wife, Verna, she was a uh, she was alone us and she had worked she worked at the Kentucky State Bank. And she came to get him that afternoon. And um, he began pacing up and down the uh, the hall, the main hall where all the, the uh, merchandise was shown. And uh, Nobody seemed to break up, so she kept tooting for him. And uh, finally he came back to the back where we were all gathered and he said, uh, my wife's out here, she's waiting for me. I've got to go. The first one mentions my name after I leave here is the guy. <laughs> so, you can, re you know, those are good old days. <laughs> um, it's amazing it, uh, uh, how big we all con considered the Farmers Bank to be when they were operating in a building that was relatively small, I thought. And at that time we had the Farmers Bank and the Kentucky State Bank, two banks. Who would have ever thought we would have five banks? Because they were the Farmers Bank and the Kentucky State Bank were main competitors back then. And both of them run by fine folks. The, the, I remember Roy Dye well because he did a lot of uh, dealing in oil wells. 
and he was a great guy. Respected his advice and counsel because was he was he was uh, at that time I, we thought I thought of him as being elderly, but he they lived down there on, uh, on uh, West Main on, and. Uh, it was an amazing thing. They, every afternoon, uh, they'd be down there playing. Uh, uh, what's the card game that people play? Uh, Rook. Rook. No, they were playing. Uh, they didn't play cards, or did they? Didn't play. No, they weren't. They were playing. Canasta. Huh? Canasta. No. Well. Playing bridge. Bridge. Yeah. yeah on, the, on, the on the front porch of, of uh, yeah. on the front porch at, uh, of uh, of the uh, right eye house. Um, right eye lived there, and then Doctor Lonnie Johnson lived. Uh, doctor, you know, lived next door to him. And West Main Street was the street to live on. So um, now I don't know what else to. When you a Hobby was deceased at that time. Uh, Arthur Hobby was sheriff at that time when we came. Uh, he was uh, the son. One of the uh, Hobby children. There, I know whether whether we, that is Sue and I, were going to make it as uh, professional people here. But I got to, the people here were good to us, extremely good to us. So you know, and, and then also uh, we found. Formed a partnership with Global Code, um, and uh, that was the probably the de decision that uh, that uh, caused us to make it, quote unquote, make it, <laughs> and uh, then Global. Subsequently, was appointed circuit judge in 1962, and that was when the new judicial circuit was created. Uh, before that, Global, uh, uh, Allen and Allen County and Warren County were constituted the 8th Judicial Circuit. Of course, Warren County was a great big uh, uh, county with a big population, and Allen was not, didn't have quite the population, so eventually why the, you know, I believe it was in 62, the, the legislature made uh, Warren County the 8th Judicial District and put uh, Allen County with Simpson to create the 49th Judicial Circuit and at that time um, the uh, Circuit judge was elected, but uh, Gold Gold was appointed the first circuit judge for the 49th Judicial Circuit, which constituted uh, uh, Allen and Simpson. Gold Gold was, is, uh, was Kit Hancock's grandfather, and Kit, Kit lived with him. Down there at uh, on uh, West Main, uh, 
I say, and then at that time, let's see, who was, Judge Rhodes was the circuit judge of the 8th Judicial okay. Circuit, which constituted, which uh, was uh, um, Allen and Warren. Right. And Judge Rhodes didn't drive a car, so when he came over to uh, Scottsville, the whole court, he had to ride with uh, whoever the Commonwealth attorney was. And it, originally that was uh, Bill Nasher. Oh. But anyway, Judge Rhodes always had to catch a ride over here when he was going to hold court. And when, but, but when he was here, he always stayed at the Jacksonian Hotel and he was a walker. He would you see him at late in the afternoon walking all over out in town and and uh, as I've met, said many times, and as many people have, uh, yeah, he looked the part of a judge because he had the goatee in. He was a very distinguished and a distinguished, man. distinguished looking gentleman. Just as tall and straight as an arrow. Yeah, and you know, at Christmas time, the Rotary Club had a big uh, uh, dinner there. Rotary Inn. That was uh, the highlight, social highlight of the, of the year in those days. Um, and the Jacksonian was also one. Uh, D during had it, all of them during the uh, I guess it was 1956 through 58 or 9 and all the uh, people from all over the country that, that invested in all these came and stayed at the Jacksonian it was a it was a busy, busy place because that's where all all deals were made. And uh, an interesting uh, place where you could uh, probably get make a good deal, but you could also be on the, um, have the risk of maybe making a bad deal because so many of the, of the deals were made, the, uh, the drillers would drill dry holes and advertise them as producing wells, you know. It was right interesting time then. During those, uh, I guess it was all the way from 57, 58, 59, um, the Jacksonian Hotel was linen table calls and things of that nature that made everybody. Uh, Say, boy, they, we've got. Well, we wore hats and gloves. We really, really got a place for society to meet. The Rotary met there every Saturday, every Friday. It was a fine building, but it was allowed to deteriorate, and eventually, the. The Kentucky Bank bought bought the building and was gonna tear it down and build a build a uh, bank building in its place, but it didn't ever uh, materialize because when the building was torn down, the lot wasn't near as big as 
is uh, they're by thigh water. And so the bank did not in, but end up building a, build a bank there. Moved from 54, so you were here for the for the big sesquicentennial celebration right. in 1965. Yeah, where everybody grew beers and all. Oh. It was, they did quite a job, I think. I think I still group. got a picture of him with his beard. Yeah, they're, uh, they did quite a job. <coughs> Celebrating what was it? Sesquicentennial. 150 years. Yeah. And so then the two when is the 200 years right on top of us. Next year. Next year. That's yeah. uh, as county judge after that, didn't you? Served as county judge in 1950. Uh, let's see. You were elected in January of I mean in installed in January of 58. Yes, four because years. Because Suzanne was born in February. Okay. Uh, at that time, the youngest in the state, but uh, that's not a uh, main thing to be mentioned. <laughs> uh, the main thing that... that uh, I believe contributed to the progress of Scottsdale Allen County was the building of the dam. I think that was progressive. At that time, people were opposed to it because it, it was going to take, all, uh, take up all the good land in, in this part of the country. But um, that, uh, the, uh, the health department, the city well, county uh, what, I, what I remember is it probably contributed more to the progress of, uh, of Allen County was the when the fiscal court adopted the occupational tax, and that gave them some money to operate with, and then when uh, they passed the uh, the uh, bond issue for the hospital, and then when now that was a big vote, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I had to pass by two thirds. And then, then when uh, CHC came over here and built, took over the debt that the county had accumulated and then built a new hospital. Those were progressive things that happened that I remember. Oliver? Dr. Halcom, Dr. Oliver, Dr. Owen L. Davis. Dr. Uh, John Meredith. John W. Meredith, a graduate of the uh, University of Chicago Medical School. Uh, he was kind of a uh, well, he kind of a peculiar guy, but smart as could be. So, you know, a graduate of University of Chicago was going some. Yeah. And let's see, who else did we have? Uh, Besides, uh, oh, Dr. Miller, we don't want to oh, overlook no, Dr. A. O. Miller. Yeah, that's who I took Jim to. The, the, uh, yeah, we were full of doctors back then. Yeah, that was still big early on. Uh, the uh, early on when I when when we uh, located here, uh, 
can't think of the marshal's name, but the marshal was in Bowling Green, and they were they made raids on uh, on stills in East Allen because of the there was so many it was hilly, you know, mountainous really, uh, and. Uh, the Marshall. Big Six, Big Six Anderson. Yeah. You've heard of his? I name? have heard of him. And he and... He was a character. Uh, Mark... Uh, uh, they, they would uh, make raids in East Allen just in, with one vehicle, you know. Was that A. Hobby? Uh, yeah, Arthur Happy was the sheriff, and uh, those were days when they were. That was quite a, a uh, quite a thing to make a raid in yeah. East Allen, and they uh, they tell the story of. Uh, One of the uh, Wix boys that uh, the, uh, they were getting ready to make a raid. The way I remember this story was they said they were going to give him $10 if he would tell where a certain person was. And uh, He agreed to that. However, they uh, <clears throat> he wanted his money up front, and uh, they wondered the officers why money up front because you ain't coming back. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> 